Afternoon, Chef here. Trust you well. Trust you having a nice weekend. Uh, as promised, I'm going to keep these blogs going every day. So hopefully it will be a um, a daily kind of inspiration to everybody. Now, one thing I'm going to talk about today is happiness. And it's only a short one, but I think it's quite relevant. I used to be absolutely adamant that uh, happiness was only the... The, the, uh, the virtue of those that are rich and famous and had all the money in the world and had no stresses and, you know, money meant happiness. And as I've said, I think a couple of days ago, money doesn't bring you happiness. It basically just brings you um, chances and opportunities. And as I got up this morning, um, it was relatively late, but it was about nine o'clock and um, both the children are downstairs on their tablets, etc. And I... I stepped back and went back probably about God, 15 years ago and I said to my wife and I said do you remember when we didn't have the children do you remember when we didn't have the the dependency on a Saturday morning you know when we could just do what we wanted to do um, and what did I do I pretty much wasted my day I pretty much had no acknowledgement in myself or no um, Visual, visual, sort of tangible object in front of me. That Christ, you've done well. And what have I got? I've got two amazing children. And yes, I've been through the ups and downs. And yes, I've been through horrendous times recently. But I've turned it around. And it's what you value as happy. What you value as being content. And you know, content doesn't mean having the. The massive house and the, and the big cars and the and the abundant holidays. Content is what you feel inside. Content is how you feel inside. Content is how you feel about yourself and how you've come to that point. And, and, and most importantly, how you are living your life. And I know in the last 18 months it's been a real, a real journey for me and a real struggle. But the, the most important thing is the last 18 months, every day has been a better day. And yes, there's ups and downs. And yes, sometimes I might get frustrated and disappointed. And on occasions I might blow my top as one would say, just out of frustration. But it's how I deal with after the event. I don't let it linger thereafter. And I don't look back at how I reacted because looking back at how I reacted affects my current mood. And letting it linger and carry on affects my current mood. So being happy for me, and hopefully for you people out there, is being able to take stock of what's going on. Being able to take stock of all the, the positives in your life, the, the beautiful autumnal days, the central heat hasn't been on, you know, Christ, every household saving a few pennies every month. Um, the fact that the nights are still relatively light and, and it, in, it, it induces you to go out and not be tucked up at home. But when the heating does come on and it's those cold winter nights and just sitting on the sofa with your loved ones and enjoying a nice meal or, or having people over is every bit as fulfilling as, you know, those long summer days where you're out in the garden having a barbecue chat and chatting away. But if we turn it back around again and think about it, being happy is in so many ways. And it's not just the reserve of those that are rich and famous. You can be happy in so many ways. You can be happy in the way you live your life. You can be happy in the way you help others. You can be happy in the way, as myself, that I empower people. And you have to think about that. You know, there's so many things we have got to be so fortunate about. And it's only the... It's only when we become fixated on the things that we haven't got that we become unhappy be fixated on those things that you have got and change your way of thinking to be grateful for what you have got and be positive positive. and when you go to bed at night and you're in the alpha the alpha state of mind remember alpha being as in amen as if you're saying your prayers and you're going amen that's when you're receptive and that's when you're calm and fill yourself full of beautiful, calm, content, fulfilling images and really and really hold yourself into that and really picture it here and really wish it but wish it with such conviction that when you do switch off that you hold it and you become enveloped in it 
And then when you wake up in the morning, the first and most prevalent thing you think about is what you went to bed at night. Christ, that's got to be a happy start to the day rather than one that's um, stressful, etc. So I trust it's been helpful. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep these up every day. Be happy in yourself. Don't look what other people have got. Think about what yourself. Break your life down. Break your day down. Break what you do down to segments that you know 100% you're content with. And if you do break away the layers like an onion, there'll be lots of things that you've forgotten about. You know? Um, so be content in the day. When you go this evening, just think of happiness. Think of empowering thoughts. Remember, remember the alpha state is the state that we can really work with to improve our day and improve our, day, our way of thinking. Trust us, it's been helpful. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please share. And uh, thanks for supporting. And remember, as I always say, if you can believe, you absolutely can succeed. Okay, cheers, bye.